Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the process cannot access the file because it is being used by another process. So I imagine this could definitely be a frustrating issue and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve this without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So what we are going to start with here is opening up the start menu. Type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now I'm going to have a couple commands in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy each one one at a time here. So I will, again, I will have this in the description of my video. First one is going to be net stop HTTP. So we're going to copy that from my description of my video. And then you're going to go ahead and paste that into the command prompt, or you can type it in. It doesn't really matter to me. But we're going to just right click on the top bar of the command prompt, select edit, and then paste it in again after you've copied it from the description of my video. So once you are done with that, it says you want to continue with this operation. You have to tap the letter Y which I accidentally skipped over, I accidentally hit enter, but I'm going to tap the letter Y here. So you see I tap the letter Y, hit enter. If you keep accidentally hitting enter, you will skip right over that. So as you just saw, you don't want to do that. So make sure you take care of that. Give it a second here. And now we are ready to begin. So just minimize out of the command prompt for right now. And we're going to go open up the start menu, type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result should say registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, it's very simple. You just would select the file tab and then export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you are making the backup. Export range, keep that at all, and then save it to an easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, if you need any mistake, you can always do file and then import and just navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the system folder. So double click on that. Same thing for current control set, double click on it. Should be a services folder, double click on that one as well. And scroll down a little bit, there should be an HTTP folder. Alternatively, if you just want to actually just click on a random folder here and just start typing it, you can. So HTTP, basically it just was a shortcut to get us down the list here. So you can see we're on HTTP, double click on it. So now double click on the parameters folder. There should be a list only list folder now. So just left click on that one time. Please take note of the file path up at the top of the screen here too if perhaps you got a little lost with all the folders we've gone under. Each backslash up here is a different folder we've gone under. And now over here on the right, you want to make sure whatever this number and this value here is the valid IP address. So if there's something incorrect about this number, you might have to double click on it and actually change it. Or create a new one and delete the old one. So you would just right click in a blank area, select new, select binary value and then you would type in the correct IP address and then you would delete the old one so pretty straightforward on that guys and once you're done with that you will need to close out of here open back up the command prompt that we minimized if you accidentally closed out of it it's okay but we're gonna go type in the second command that we have in the description which is net start HTTP so copy that and then go back to the command prompt window here right click on the top select edit and then paste it in should say the service was started successfully. I would close out of here and restart your computer nonetheless, but that should pretty much be about it, guys. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.